Hello, Stefan here with Loquidity with a video about German words that include the stem F-A-L-L, -L, which of course is a cognate to the English word to fall or the noun fall. But in German, we have a lot more meanings and a lot more applications and a lot more prefix words. Loquidity. So first let's talk about the verb fallen, which is almost synonymous with the English verb to fall, basically to, to fall, to stumble. The present tense conjugation of fallen in German, ich falle, du fällst, er, sie, es fällt, wir fallen, ihr fallt und sie fallen. The past participle is gefallen, and one meaning that German has that English does not have is that it can also refer to people dying in war. So for instance, if I say, mein Großvater ist im Krieg gefallen, that literally would translate as, my grandfather has fallen in war. It really means, my grandfather died in war. The German verb fallen means something completely different. It means basically the same thing as the English verb to fell, to fell a tree, to knock a tree down, basically. The German noun der Fall can be a little bit confusing. It's, yes, it means the same as decline, the noun decline, but it does not mean autumn, as the English word fall can mean. So in German, we have a different word for that, der Herbst. Der Fall can also mean a case, figuratively, a case like a criminal case, not a physical case. Careful with this noun, die Falle, completely different meaning, that means a trap. Okay, let's go over a few verbs that have prefixes and some nouns that go along with that and maybe also some adjectives. Some of these verbs are separable, have separable prefixes, and some of them don't. So for instance, the verb umfallen, which means to fall over, has a separable prefix. So in a sentence, if I conjugate that, I could say in German, for instance, ich falle um, I fall over, I am falling over. You can see how the um goes to the end of the sentence. However, the verb zerfallen does not have a separable prefix. And for instance, when I say die Burgen zerfallen, the castles fall apart or fall into disrepair, you can see how the zer stays on the beginning of the verb. Der zerfall means ruin or decline or falling apart, something that falls into disrepair, something that is uh, no longer in use. And this noun, which looks very similar to umfallen, but it's spelled with an N, der Unfall, that's an accident. The verb anfallen actually has two meanings. It can mean as much as to attack. So for instance, I could say, sie fällt ihn an, means as much as she attacks him. It can also mean to accrue or to gather, to collect, but not in a positive way, in a negative sense. So it's used with things like costs, for instance. So for instance, I could say in German, die Kosten fielen an, the costs accrued, the costs added up. The noun der Anfall means not so much of a physical attack, but more of like a medical attack, like a seizure or a fit, maybe a stroke possibly. The German verb verfallen means as much as to expire, to decline, to fall into disrepair. So for instance, the noun das Verfallsdatum means expiration date. Ausfallen means as much as something or someone no longer being of use, even though you would expect that something or someone to be there. For instance, you could say der Zug fiel aus. The, 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 the train is no longer going. It, it had mechanical failure and is no longer of use. Der Ausfall, that's the noun version of that, and that basically means outage or something of no longer being of use or no longer being available. Maybe that's a better translation. This verb, gefallen, is a little bit complex simply because 
There is no direct English equivalent to that. Strangely enough, there are equivalents to that in Romance languages like Italian and Spanish. If I had to translate that verbatim into English, I would have to say to cause to please, to, to elicit liking or elicit sympathy. In German, it is used reflexively. So for instance, I could say, du gefällst mir. You elicit my liking. I like you. Or in English, I would just simply say, I like you. However, the noun der Gefallen simply means a favor, something you do for somebody else to please that person. So related to the verb, but a little bit different. Der Zufall, however, means coincidence. And zufällig means coincidental, by chance. Here's a simple one. Here's a straightforward one. Der Wasserfall, the waterfall. This one is not very common, but you will see it if you read enough German, if you uh, drive around in Germany too. Das Gefälle. That means a downward gradient, a downward slope. The verb abfallen simply means to fall off. Here's a word that I grew up with, but that's really not in use anymore. And, and there's a reason for that. Der Abfall, that actually means garbage. However, now we have only the word der Restmüll. Der Restmüll means the remaining garbage or the remaining uh, things that cannot be reused or recycled. So Germans are very, very environmentally conscious and, and recycling and reuse is really important in German culture. So we don't really have that word anymore. However, we have this derivation of it, abfällig, which means as much as derogatory. This little word, Falls is a conjunction and it means as much as in case of or if. So for instance, you could say, Ich nehme meinen Regenschirm mit, falls es regnet. I'm taking my umbrella with me in case it rains. And last but not least, here's another adjective, fällig, and that means as much as do. So as you can see, there are a lot of similarities between English and German, even with this cognate fall and fall or der Fall and Fallen. However, in German, the nuances are much, much broader and it's a lot more complex. And a lot of the English translation you may have noticed are Latinate. They're either directly from Latin or from French. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. This would help me a lot. And uh, if you haven't subscribed to my channel, check out my other videos. And if you like them as much as you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. See you in the next video. Tschüss. Bye.